Alrighty, good morning everybody. Welcome to Circle Time. I'm still trying to get my camera straight. Uh, but good morning, welcome, welcome. How is everybody today? Um, I hope you're all still doing well. Um, as always, we're just going to hang out for a second or two, give everybody a chance to get here. But, you know, we're going to do our usual circle time today. I have some books, I have some rhymes, and I have a really fun craft again today. Um, so we're going to do that. So we're going to wait a couple seconds, make sure everybody has a chance to get here and get all logged in and stuff. Good morning, everybody. I see people are starting to come in. Good morning. Don't forget, I can see the comments. So if you want to let me know who's here, that would be awesome. I love knowing which of my friends are here. Um, and I can't wait until I can safely see you guys again. We want everybody to stay nice and healthy. So, uh, good morning, everybody. Hopefully everybody had a good weekend. Um, Sunday was Mother's Day, so maybe you guys did something special with your mom or maybe even your grandmother or an aunt. But that, you know, I hope you had a really fun day. Um, the weather's been kind of weird lately. It's been rainy and sunny and chilly. So maybe not a lot of outside time this weekend, but we're working on it. Hopefully summer will be here soon or at least warm weather. So good morning, just hanging out, waiting for a couple more people to pop in. We'll get started in just a second or two. It just always takes, a, you know, just could take some people a couple seconds to get here once they get the notification that we're here. But yeah, we're gonna do some songs. We're gonna do some books. We're gonna have fun, I think. Hopefully you guys have fun when you come to my circle times, so. All right, just another second or two. Give a couple more people a chance to get here. Good morning. How is everybody today? Oh, excuse me. All right, good morning. Give everybody another second or two, and then we're going to get started. So we're going to start off today with a song. And um, you guys are going to need... To, or you can if you want um, there's lots of actions to do in this song so one of them is jump up and down and Miss Emily can't jump up and down because you won't be able to see me if I do that so for jump up and down Miss Emily's gonna do this but you guys can actually jump up and down okay um, then there's don't make a sound so don't make a sound and then there's tiptoe so you guys can tiptoe to the camera um, again, Miss Emily's going to do it sitting down, but you guys can stand up and tiptoe. Um, little bird. Uh, another one is bend your knees. So you won't be able to see Miss Emily bending her knees, but you can bend your knees and squat down. Um, we're going to peep, peep, peep. Can you guys peep, peep, peep? And then we're going to sleep, sleep, sleep. And then we're going to fly to the leaves. See if everybody can fly, you can flap your wings. And then the last thing is going to be sit down. Okay, so I think we're just about ready to get started. So since I went over those, why don't we go ahead and get started? So this rhyme is called Little Birds. And if you guys um, know the rhyme Teddy Bear, Teddy Bear, it's the same rhythm as that. Um, so are you guys ready to jump up and down? Because that's the first one. All right, are we ready? So little birds, little birds, jump up and down. Little birds, little birds, don't make a sound. Little birds, little birds, tiptoe to me. Little birds, little birds, bend your knees. Can you bend your knees? Little birds, little birds, peep, peep, peep. Little birds, little birds, sleep, sleep, sleep. Little birds, little birds, fly to the leaves. Little birds, little birds, sit down, please. All right, that's really fun. You want to do that again real quick? All right, so now that we know it, remember we start off with jump up and down. So little birds, little birds, jump up and down. Little birds, little birds, don't make a sound. Little birds, little birds, tiptoe to me. Little birds, little birds, bend your knees. Little birds, little birds, peep, peep, peep. Little birds, little birds, sleep, sleep, sleep. Little birds, little birds, fly to the leaves. Little birds, little birds, sit down, please. 
All right, what do you think? Was that fun? I hope you liked it. All right, so let's start off with our first book. This one is called Boo Hoo Bird. Oh no, he's got a boo boo on his head. Let's find out how that happened and what he, what happens. So this is Boo Hoo Bird by Jeremy Tankard. Bird and Raccoon were enjoying a game of catch. When Bird got bonked on the head. Oh no, he got bonked. Ouch, moaned Bird. That hurt a lot. He started to cry. Oh no, said Raccoon. I've wounded Bird. But here, I'll kiss it better. Raccoon kissed Bird's bunk. Mwah. Bird kept crying. It still hurts. I'm sorry, Rac said Raccoon. Let's see if Rabbit can help. You see him giving the, his bunk a, boob, a kiss? All right. Raccoon told Rabbit what happened. Poor Bird, said Rabbit. Would a hug help? Rabbit gave Bird a hug. Bird cried some more. It's not helping. Let's go find Beaver, said Rabbit. He'll know what to do. What you need is a cookie, said Beaver. You can fix any problem with a cookie. Beaver gave Bird a cookie. Bird cried louder. I think I'm getting dizzy. Let's ask Sheep what to do, said Beaver. She's full of ideas. Beaver showed Bird's boo-boo to Sheep. How about a game of hide and seek, suggested Sheep. The animals ran and hid. You want me to hide, wailed Bird? I can hardly walk. Surely Fox can make you feel better, said Sheep. He's clever. Bird got bonked on the head, Sheep told Fox. He's quite upset. What you need is a Band-Aid, said Fox. And he disappeared into his den and came back. Band-Aids always make my boo-boos feel better. And he put the Band-Aid on Bird's head. Look, he's got the Band-Aid. He's getting ready to put it on his bonk. <gasps> the Band-Aid isn't working. Boo-hoo-hoo, -hoo, cried Bird. Oh, no. It didn't, not even a Band-Aid helped. Boo-hoo-hoo, -hoo, cried Bird's friends together. Nothing is making Bird feel better. Look at everybody crying. They're so sad that their friend is hurt. Oh, and Bird looks kind of surprised. Bird looked at his friends. He felt his bunk. It didn't really hurt anymore. I think I'm okay now, he said. But his friends couldn't hear him. Oh my goodness, look at his friends. They are so upset. Holy moly. I said, I'm all better now, shouted Bird. Oh my goodness. He surprised everybody. See? Bird stood on his head. Oh, that bunk must be feeling better. You're so silly, Bird, said the animals. They laughed and stood on their heads, too. Come on, said Bird. Let's play catch. Look at all of those crazy animals on their heads. Bonk. Oh, no. He just got another bonk on the head. Maybe catch isn't such a good game for bird. I don't know. Do you guys like to play catch? Miss Emily's not very good at catch either. Um, so I always got lots of bonks on my head too. And on my on all my legs and on my shoulders and all kinds of crazy places. So I don't usually play catch because I'm not very good at catching. But all right, so let's do another little rhyme. This one's called Five Little Owls. So let me see if I can get them all right. There we go. I want you to be able to see them all because I have some cute little owls. Look at my little owls. All right. So how many owls do I have? One, two, three, four, five. So this rhyme is called Five Little Owls. So five little owls on a moonlit night. Five little owls are quite a sight. Five little owls, are you keeping score? One flew away. And then there were, how many's left? How many owls do we have left? One, two, three, four. Four. Four.
four little owls as happy as can be. One flew away. Flew away. And then there were, how many owls do we have left now? One, two, three. And then there were three. Three little owls calling, who, who. One flew away. And then there were, er, er, sorry, and that left, how many owls do we have now? One, two, and that left two. Two little owls having lots of fun. One flew away, and then, and that left, how many owls do we have left? Just one, and that left one. One little owl, we're almost done. He flew away, and then there were none. Oh my goodness, all of our owls flew away. That's a fun little one. All right, so why don't we read another book called Hoot and Peep? And this is one of Miss Emily's favorite books. I really like Hoot and Peep. I think Peep is really, really cute. Um, so Hoot and Peep by Lita Judge. Peep was finally old enough to join her big brother Hoot on the rooftops. It's the perfect night to teach Peeps all my owly wisdom, thought Hoot. There's Hoot, and he's going to tell little Peeps here all the things that he knows. Peep thought it was the perfect night to sing about the magic of the moonbeams. Shweep, she peeped. No, no, no. It goes like this, peeps. First, we are owls. We say who. Second, we always say who. Lastly, we only say who. There, he was done imparting all of his owly wisdom. Shweepity peep. But Hoot goes, huh? Listen to me, peeps. I'm older. I know more. We owls simply say, who? Who? You see, they're flying past the bells, and peep goes, bong. Shweepity peep, who ding dong bong. Oh my goodness, she's having fun singing. What do you think Hoot thinks about that? I don't know. Who, who, who? Who means hello, goodbye, good morning, and good night? Who is the only way to say everything? Uh-oh, I think Hoot's getting mad. Hoot forgot owls never shout. Peep had nothing to say and just flew away. Oh, do you think he hurt Peep's feelings? The problem with Peep, thought Hoot, is she won't listen to my owly wisdom. Oh, look at Peep. The problem with Hoot, thought Peep, is he doesn't believe about seeing in the mystery of things. Peep believed in whispering to an ancient wind. Shweep, dingity dong, shweep, dingity dong. And singing with the slip slap of the waves against stone. Slippity slap, slippity slap. Hoot knew he was right. That is, until he started missing Peep's songs. Oh no, he's missing his sister. Without Peep to listen, there didn't seem to be a point in saying who anymore. Oh look, even Hoot's getting sad now. Dingity dong, slippity slap, slippity slap. Peep is, you see Peep there flying around? She's flying around and singing about all the sounds that she hears. Then Hoot heard Peep's sweet voice drifting on the wind. The sound was like magic. Shweepity ding, shweepity dong. Hoot realized he had made a big mistake. Little sisters have their own owly wisdom. Can you teach me your song, Peeps? Dingity dong. Soon, the night wind rang with songs of joy and love and magic things. Slippity slap, shweepity coo. Hoot and Peep sang together 
but each in their own owly way. Ding-a-dee-dong, bong. And that, they thought, was why it was a perfect night. Aw. And then they flew off together. What a sweet story. I really like Hoot and Peep. I think Peep, like I said, I think Peep is really, really cute. Okay, so I'm going to move my chair over. And in a second, I'm going to switch my camera because I'm going to show you guys how to make another fun craft today. And because we just read a book about owls, I'm going to show you guys how to make this crazy looking owl. What a silly looking owl this is. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and turn my camera around. Let's see if I can do that so you guys can see me here. All right, perfect. All right, so to make this, oops, there we go. All right, so to make this crazy looking owl, here we are. What we're going to need is a toilet paper tube. We're going to need some scissors. I used a black marker. You could use any color you want. Some glue. Miss Emily had to go and get a new glue stick. I wore my glue stick out. Um, so glue. If you have them, some um, cupcake papers. I have some yellow ones here. You can use any colors you want, any colors that you might have. And then if you have some orange paper, hey, check it out. Miss Emily went and got some color paper. Um, so if you have some orange or some yellow paper, that would be good. Or if you have just some plain white paper too, that will work too and you can color it in. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take, I'm going to move these things out of the way so I don't make a big mess. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our toilet paper tube and just like we did for our pigs a couple weeks ago, do you guys remember our, oops, do you guys remember our cute little pigs that we made? I know some of you made these pigs. Um, so just like we did with the pigs, we're going to take the top and we're going to start to fold the tops in so that we start to get points and we can kind of give them a squish. Oops, fold them down. You might need your grown up to help you with this. Hold them down, hold them down, give them a squish so that once they're folded down, can you see that we have the two points now? And if you want, if you think you might need it, if you have some tape, you can take a piece of tape and put that there to help hold the, to help hold it down and help hold those ears in place. Okay. So now we're going to put that aside for a minute and now we're going to take our cupcake wrappers. So we're going to take one and we're going to kind of pull it out and we're going to flatten it and fold it in half. Okay, so fold it in half, give it a good little crease, and then we're going to open it back up. And this is where your scissors comes in, so make sure you have a grown up there to help you with your scissors. And we're going to cut right where we folded. You guys see how when I folded it made a nice line down the middle? So we're going to cut right down the middle, right on that line. So that we have two, now we have two pieces. All right, so then while we're cutting, we're gonna take our other, put them right there for a minute. We're gonna take our other cupcake wrapper and again, we're gonna fold it and pull it out and flatten it and fold it in half. Give it a good fold and then if you turn it sideways and you give it another fold. So we're gonna fold it twice and fold it into quarters because four quarters make a hole. So press on that, make some lines, and then we're gonna open it back up. And now can you guys see we have a nice, we have nice lines in here to help us cut. So again, we're gonna cut in half right along one of the lines. And then we're gonna take each half and we're gonna cut each half again right along the line. So once more. And then once more. So now we have some small pieces. We have two bigger pieces and we have our tube. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is these pieces are going to be the owl's wings. Uh, there he is. So the two pieces here are going to be, whoopsie, his two wings. So we're going to take our glue. And it's probably helpful if you have like a, you don't want to get glue all over your table. 
So if you have a piece of paper that you can put underneath what you're working on, um, actually, I'm going to do that. I need that piece of paper. So I'm going to take this piece of paper. <laughs> All right. So we've got our tube. We got our, our wings. So we're going to put some glue on the edge of these wings. And real quick, put some on this one too. Look at this cool purple glue I have. Holy cow. It's so colorful. But you know what? It gets clear as it dries. So that's really cool. All right. So the one thing you have to remember is not to have your um, wings go below the bottom of the tube down here because then otherwise your owl won't sit up. So as long as your wings come above the bottom of the tube, you can press them on. Give them a good press. Make sure they're going to stick. I'm going to stick a little bit of extra glue on here. And then we do the same thing on the other side. Give it a good press so that when we flip it over, look at his cool wings. There we go. And you can see I, I got a little bit of extra glue on there, but that's okay. As it dries, it'll, it'll get clear. Actually, let's see if we can kind of tack it down. There we go. So it'll go away after a little bit, okay? So now we're going to take our little pieces and starting from the bottom, we're going to take one little piece and we're going to put some glue on it. And then again, you don't want it to go um, below the tube. You want it to make sure that it's at least even with the tube or maybe even a little bit higher because if you want your owl to stand up, it has to be a little bit higher. So we're going to glue this down on the front. How silly, kind of looks like he's wearing a skirt now, huh? But this is going to be, this makes the body of the owl. So I'm going to take another one, more glue, and we're going to overlap. So I'm going to put this one on top of it, of the first one, but leave some sticking out. You see, I can still see the first one sticking out. So I'm going to overlap it, give it a good press and glue it down. And I think I have room for one more. I'm not going to use all four today. You guys can use all four if you'd like. If you really, really want to get a really fancy ruffly owl, maybe you can do more if you have extra cupcake liners. But then again, we're going to overlap, but leave some sticking out. And we're going to push it down, let it glue. All right. So there we go. We're almost done. So let's put our glue away so we don't make a mess. I'm going to move this out of the way so I don't get stuck. All right, so now here's where we're going to need our two pieces of paper. So on the orange, you can see I was already um, practicing down here. You can take um, your, your marker or your crayon or your pencil or whatever you're using, and you're just going to draw a triangle. Now, what do you think a triangle is going to be on an owl? Do you guys see any triangles on this owl? Maybe his beak. That's right. This is going to be his beak. So then again, using your scissors and being very, very careful, we're going to cut out a beak. And give it a cut there. And there we go. Now we have a beak. And that, that's all we need from the orange. And then for the white, do you see one more thing on here that we haven't made yet? We haven't made eyes. So on the white paper, you can draw two circles and you can make them as big or as small as you want. I like to make kind of big eyes because owls kind of have big eyes, don't they? It helps them see in the dark. And then you can color them in. And if you want to make your, his eyes different colors, you can totally do that. I just happen to have my black marker today. So what do you think? Does that look like two eyeballs? All right. So let's move our beak out of the way so we don't lose it. And then carefully, we're going to cut these eyeballs out again. So make sure you have your grown-ups help with your scissors if you need it. And very, very carefully, we're going to cut these circles out. And if you have something that you want to trace to help you make um, perfect circles, that's, that's good. Um, but I like to make my own circles. I didn't really have anything that was good to trace. I tried a couple things. And they didn't really work for me. So I just drew my own. So we're cutting out. We're almost there. Like I said, be very, very careful. You don't want to cut your fingers. Hopefully you guys have little scissors. I don't have any little scissors here. I have to use my big scissors. But there we go. 
All right, so now we'll put that out of the way. And actually, what we'll bring back is our glue paper. Because what we're going to do is, here's our owl. So here's our owl. So he needs his beak, right? So we're going to take his beak. And I'm going to turn it upside down so that the black is the side that we're going to glue. See, I forgot here and left the black on. If you guys like the way that looks, you can totally keep it that way. This time I'm going to turn it upside down so we don't see any black and see how it looks. Uh oh, it got stuck on my glue stick. So if that happens, you just carefully take it off. And then you decide where you want the beak. Oh, you know what? I'm doing this backwards, but that's okay. We could put the beak. Let's put the beak right there. I think that'll be a good spot. All right. So now we've got two eyeballs. So again, because we drew eyes on that side, we're going to turn them upside down. So first we're going to glue one eyeball. And we're going to stick it on. And I want to stick it on so you can still see the beak. So stick it on, stick it on, give it a good stick. There we go. And now he needs one more eyeball. So I'm going to put some more glue on there. Close my glue up. Carefully turn this over. And I'm going to stick the other eyeball right there. All right. So I have really, really big eyeballs. So his eyeballs overlap. And they did on this guy too. Um, if you want to make smaller eyeballs, you can. Uh, something that I realized I did backwards. I put the beak on first so that the eyeballs are over top of the beak, which is fine. It still looks like an owl, right? Let's see. Oh, there we go. Still looks like an owl. Um, this guy, I put the beak over top of the eyes. So it just depends on what you like. But then, you know what? And I made these eyes kind of too big because now you can't really see, see his ears. But if you make them smaller, you would, be, you would be able to see his ears behind there. So I got a little carried away with my owl's eyes. But there you go, guys. There's an owl to make. So now I have two owls. So does that mean I have a flock of owls? Maybe. I don't know. All right. I'm going to turn my camera around real quick or flip it back up. All right, guys. So that is it for me. Thank you so much for coming to Circle Time today. Um, if you guys make your own little owls, um, feel free to post pictures or send us pictures through our social media. Uh, we would love to see the little owls that you guys make. All right. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for coming. Have a really, really good week. I will see you guys again soon. Bye-bye.